My name is Marissa Jensen. I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. I didn't grow up hunting, but was always very outdoorsy. I really enjoyed being outside and being connected to nature. I worked as a veterinary technician for over 10 years. Always really enjoyed working with animals, but wanted to be working more with wildlife. And so went back to school and got a different degree and worked with fisheries and with our Nebraska Gaming Parks. And then eventually landed my position with Pheasants Forever, which is just a dream job. Everything that I always wanted in a position. But I didn't get there without finding my love for hunting, and that didn't happen until uh, almost 30 years old. I was actually pretty opposed to hunting growing up. I didn't understand the connection to food and the outdoors, and once somebody made that apparent for me, that, that kind of changed everything, and I wanted to be able to provide food for the family and go out and hunt for that and be connected with nature and then figured out pretty quickly that connection that hunting has with the land and how you can truly make an impact every time you go out with your gear and you know your gun and your your shot and everything that how that contributes to the land that you hunt how that conservation is funded and that was really neat for me. I think I just looked at hunting, I was just very naive, you know, I looked at it as how could somebody like shoot an animal and kill an animal. I loved animals and, you know, made a career out of it as a veterinary technician for so many years and, but I loved meat, you know, and I had no problems eating meat and just didn't have that connection with my food. and. So then once I really just sat down and thought about it and thought about, well, this meat is coming from somewhere and thought about where it's coming from and, and where it comes from if I hunt for it, that was, that was a turning point for me. And when I hunt, I try and use every single part of that animal that I can, whether I'm eating it, whether I'm tying flies to fly fish with it. Having that connection was really important. Upland hunting was definitely just completely different. It was the connection with the working dogs and being outdoors and hiking and just getting to see the prairie and all of that that I really enjoy so much. My cousin Shane has been an incredible mentor from the beginning. He was the one who not only took me on my first turkey hunt, but he was the one who gave me the idea to up on hunt. I was terrified to use a shotgun, and he convinced me that I had to try up on hunting. And that very first time I went out, um, I didn't go with him, I went with a friend, but I, I saw one rooster. I didn't even hit the safety. I mean, I just totally choked. And I didn't, it was pouring rain, it was, it was miserable conditions, but I loved it. And I've just never looked back, that's, that's been it. And whether I see any birds, whether I shoot any birds, none of that matters. I just love being out there with the dogs, I love being outside, and every day is a success with that. Bird dogs are great, and the connection and the relationship is great, and there is gonna be moments where they do things that you don't like, and that's part of the bond is you know, figuring each other out, knowing what works for you, for that dog, and just listening to each other. And I learned that on this trip. You know, it was, every condition is different, but uh, she's great. And, and I got her just last year, you know, so we haven't had a whole lot of time to bond. You know, she had a previous owner, and so she's had different expectations, and we're still figuring each other out. And she's just, she will go nonstop and just has a great nose and is so much fun to watch and she's got a lot of style and I think the best part about her is she works so hard in the field and she loves what she does but then she comes home and she's a great family dog and that's a lot of fun. It's about a three hour drive for me to hunt this area and so 
um, outside of my cousin. I didn't have a lot of mentors in my area, and so I ended up just hunting a lot by myself and kind of figuring out all of that with the dog kind of on my own. So it was exciting when I got to come out here and hunt with other people and just see what other people did and walk new terrain. And there's a lot of birds here. <laughs> and it's just a neat area and there's so, I mean, I, I've hunted here so many times and I still haven't seen every portion of it. And it's just a lot of fun. And, and then we have a lot of really great programs in Nebraska with the open fields and waters. And that's privately owned land that they open up for public access. And that's really great. Um, it's opened up over 300,000 acres to uh, public hunting, which wouldn't be there otherwise. And Nebraska's, I think, 97% privately owned. And so we need things like that. We need programs like that and, and organizations and partnerships like that to open up that hunting. And it's pretty incredible that people do that. <laughs> You know, being fairly new to upland hunting, it's, it's still fun to be able to have those experiences where I'm still getting into new species, even in my own state. And prior to this year, I just never ran into Bob White quail. And so they're, they're very hard to hit. <laughs> and I didn't give them enough credit <laughs> until I started hunting them and realized how hard they are to hit. And just seeing a cubby flush and trying to, you know, pick one out and, and not, the entire covey and kind of see where they all go is a lot of fun and we just had a lot of fun with them today and saw a lot of really great dog action. It's never too late to start something new and it's never too late to find your true passion and you know I really before before I started hunting I thought that I was kind of set in what I liked but this is 100% my passion, and, and so if I can find this at 30, I'm sure you can find it at any age, and so I just think it's, it's important for people if they think that they're interested in something, it doesn't matter how old you are and where you're at in your life, that you should just go for it and look where it takes you, because now I have a dream job, and <laughs> there's so many great things that came from it that I just never would have expected.